Yeah, he passed away yeah. about uh, four or five years ago now. Yeah, he came to Victoria. But he, he married a girl called Gladys <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> Was there many others that married local girls? Pardon? Were, were there many others that married local girls? Wally Den. Yes, we met her. Yeah, we met her, didn't we, Candice? Yes, we met yeah. her out in Australia, yeah. we also met her over here. Yeah. But uh, both of them are gone. Wally, Wally... But he, uh, came, he came back over Perth and he didn't remember me because he... he Wally, Wally actually uh, and his wife went to New South Wales, where he came from. Yeah. But, but, uh, the, his he came back for a reunion, remember? No, he came back and because his wife didn't enjoy the down to Sydney, and they came back and bought a had a had property up, up yeah up top past Milton Terrace and so forth up there on one of the roads. So his wife was a local as well. Yes, she was local. Well, what was her name? Yeah. What was her name? Pardon? What was Wally Dan's wife's name? She was Gladys. What was Wally Dan? What was Wally Dan's wife? Oh, Glennis. Glennis. Glennis Jenkins. Glennis Jenkins. Do you? Uh, I mean, you. Do you know any? I've got any friends to live near. Uh, she has family. Family. She has family. Just family. He's still here. Yes. Still yes. 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 Charlie James. Charlie James. James. He lives in King Street. Billy James, who's now. He lived in Los Angeles, but he died. He lives in. He lives in. What's the name? Billy James. Jean. Yeah, I know, but what's the name? Bunker. 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 He lives in Los Angeles. Bunker. And Clifford. He lives up in the Valley. We hope to catch up with him. We did you go court then? I had another brother, Kenny. Yeah, he had another brother, Kenny. But he's passed away. We did you go court when he was in the dock here? My mum always went to on the park hill and walk into Pembroke. We, we did used to go to Pembroke. We used to walk. Yes, we we walked there, didn't we? We yeah. used to walk. Yeah. Everybody used to walk <laughs> across the top road. Yeah. Yeah. We go yeah. to the pictures in Pembroke, and I worked there. Would you know Lily Clark? Would Pardon? you know Lily? Oh, well, Lily Thomas, you would have been. Lily Thomas. Would you know Lily? Pardon? Did you know Lily Thomas? No. No, no. She was, she lives in the dock here for a while. Who were the two girls? But I, Who were the two I got a stepbrother named Thomas. His name is um, Ronnie Thomas. And he lives up in, what is something, Park, right up in, up by Bottomland. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cross, Cross Park? Cross Park? Cross Park? Yes. Doctor, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And his wife, Margaret. Yeah, I'm a dog boy. My mother was here as well, you know, well, here in half class, so. Mm. The names of the people that were here then, the locals. Who did you work with in West End Cafe? Someone called Driscoll? Huh? Who did you work with in West End Cafe? Who were the two? Um, Driscoll? Yeah. Uh, Driscoll. Driscoll, yeah. Pam and, and um, Karen Driscoll, they, li they lived in King Street too. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and she had other worries here, but uh, Frankie Hill and... Uh, yeah, and the n name of the um, guy in, in charge of the place in, was named Egerton. Egerton, yeah. Tell them about the, uh, the uh, mother and father about singing and dancing up there in the little hall up top of Park Street there. Hmm. You saw kites or something. Hmm? You said your mother and you, you said, sing. Oh yes, in the talk age. Right. That used to be. You know where Albion Square School used to be? The, when yes. there was a, a, a hall opposite that, big hall, 
and every Saturday night, Mum and I used to go and entertain the troops, and my dad he played the piano, and he used to come in some nights and play the piano, you know, and, and all the all the guys would join in the singing with us, you know, and and mm. Mum, she in Picton Place, there was a hall there, and Mum opened a dance hall there for the Air Force, and they used to come there, mainly 228 Squadron, English Squadron. 201, 228, 14, yeah, the, the Australians went over there then. No. But um, it was 228 Squadron, they used to come to the dance two, hall, two, and ten, the local two. girls would come along, and we'd, we'd um, have it all the weeknights, except on Sunday, and then they used to come on Sunday and they used to play games, you know, musical chairs and all that sort of thing, because we weren't about to have a dance hall on a Sunday, but they, they, they come on, they, they play these musical chairs and all sorts of games and... Oh. Didn't Hank Cracky, didn't Cracky Hill play that? Yes, my, my uncle, Frankie Hill, he used Frankie to come. Queenie Hill. He used to uh, come and play the banjo, and they had a drummer. And there was two two uh, sailors, Johnny and Alan. Alan played the guitar, and and um, Johnny played the piano. And they'd come every night. These that, two sailors. Is that the banjo that Charlie yes, Jr. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Right. So yeah. got the banjo. I got the yeah. banjo. <coughs> yes. Did you did you have dance this year then in in the chapel here? Did you have entertainment? No. 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 It was just a tree, well, just a chapel. Yeah. What did they have in the chapel? Didn't, eh? Did we ever come? Or, what's did, that? Did they ever hold any... Um, Dances? Dances. Or Anything bunches. in the chapel? In the chapel here? Yeah. Wasn't that... Was that where the officers used to be as constant? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, it, it was a chapel and they reckoned there was entertainment. Yeah, that was a mess. One that... One that... At that time, I was only a warrant officer. They used to in the dockyard when the when the air force was there. They used to have these Concert. concerts, and the men used to dress up as oh. fairies, and it, oh, you <laughs> should have seen them. They used to put on all these shows. And, uh, yeah, I've seen pictures yeah. of that that they put on shows. I just wondered where they where they were tied and where they were, went to yeah. these shows. Yeah, oh, you and the singing and. <laughs> They put on the the air force would put on these shows, and because I was connected with the air force, they used to come and pick me up in a jeep and take me into well, the concerts. Okay. What happened to the market? The market still used going. To, used to be at the end of this. Yes. Uh, yeah, just over the road. Today. Yes, yeah, big it's market. Still there. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Nej, det är inte mer. Nej. Like Bush Street. You know Bush Street? Bush Bush Street. Street. Bush Street. Do you know Bush Street? Yes. Yeah, just right. off that. Just off that. Yeah. They're just yeah. off that. Near, near with this, the football field boy. Yeah. yeah but Whatever the, the tents on there. Is that where the St. John's Church is? St. John's Church on Bush Street. Yeah. Bush Street. Yeah. That's where the Bush was on there. How did it go? They've been there to a few weddings, aren't they? Yeah. We went there the other day when we got there on the day before. On the same and there was a church service, so we just oh, got yeah. fresh. We, we didn't go inside, we just stood outside and thought about it was walking out of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's I got married in St John's Church there, and Chris took a photograph of me outside there. <laughs> and, and then for our 50th wedding anniversary, we came back and did our vows oh. over again. Oh, nice. Mm. That's nice. It's a nice church. It's, it's all over. You have to go there. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Mm. Any, any other th things you can remember? Pardon? Any other th things you can remember? The tale of Hogwarts. We don't know where it is. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, what was it's this? great. It's a massive place. When, when, yeah, when I was one. nine years old, I was in a very bad accident. Oh. We lived in Princess Street then, yeah. and this Princess Street, you know where Princess Street yes, is? Yeah. It sort of slopes down like That's that. Right, yeah, and I was nine, and there was four of us girls. We'd gone to the pictures, and we saw a Gene Autry film, and they had all the Western music there. And we were down at the bottom of the street, down the bottom, of, and there. We were dancing, and the two of us was going towards the wall and, and coming back again and dancing up. And when we came back once, we saw this truck. It was coming very slowly down the hill, and we thought it was going to come down and turn the corner, so we didn't take any notice of it. But we kept on going and singing these songs, and two of Two girls, Bronwyn and Betty, were together, and me and and Mario was on the other side, and the two, Bronwyn and Betty, was going across to the wall, and I was we coming this way, and as we came this way, the truck was going faster and faster, and we tried, Mario and I tried to run, but the others were facing the wall, and they couldn't see the truck, and the truck came down. And it, there was a great big vent there, a great big wide pole, and it hit the pole, and the pole fell down, and it got fell across me and fell across Meryl, but it ran over Bromwyn and cut her in half, oh. and it it cut Betty was taller. They got the tray of the truck, chopped the back of her head, and the head rolled. Oh. across the thing and it dropped down in front of me just ahead oh, and we were we were both trapped yeah. underneath the pole and we couldn't we couldn't move and all I could see was his head of my fr best friend oh, 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 oh. And, and then two air force blokes come came over they were going back to camp and one of them knelt down by me and I couldn't I couldn't, I was in shock, shock, I couldn't say anything to him. Yeah. And he said, can you hear me? He said, what's your name? And I could hear him, but I couldn't speak to him. And he, he said, it's all right. He said, where do you live? And I said, I can't talk, because I couldn't yeah. no. look at that head. And he said, just close your eyes. And he said, I'll be back in a minute. And they were, the tavern was on the corner of Princess Street then, and the, the, the guy that, were, the, that were, the truck belonged to was in the tavern. And he went over there, and he came back, and he brought over a big blanket, and he covered the head up. up and he said to me, where do you live? And I said, 14 Princess Street. And he said, and Meryl, she, she was screaming her head off. She only had a leg caught. But I had mine right across, I, my shoulder and my hip. And um, he said, um, 
look, he said, close your eyes till I come back. And he said, I'll go up and get your parents. And he went up there and Dad came down and he said, oh my God, girl, what's happened? And I said, don't ask me, Dad. Yeah. And, and uh, he said, I didn't need Mum with the boys because my two young brothers were young. And anyway, uh, they, the, they all came out of the tavern and they were going to lift the, try and lift the pole, but the, the Air Force said, don't. If you drop it, you kill them. Yes. You know, because it was that heavy. It was a big pole. And we had to wait until they, they went to the dockyard and got somebody with a thing so they could lift the pole up. And then, being Pembroke Dock, they only had one ambulance. And, yeah. Oh, it was a mess. And the, uh, the next thing I remember, I was in operating table and they were operating on me. Are you sure you got the street right? Wasn't it in Park Street? Eh? Wasn't it in Park Street? Pardon? Didn't the accident occur in Park Street? The accident in Park Street? Yes. No, Princess Street. Well, you told me before the story and hey? it wasn't Princess Street. No, Princess Street. Why well, it was yeah. well, That's before the nice. started. Yeah. I, couldn't, I, I never went back to school and like you. Eh? Well, I'm, I was saying you, you were, <coughs> were you scared then? Did you, you just, were did you scared, Mum? No. 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 What was that? No. no. You were scared. asked, were you scared? Scared. Were you injured? Were yeah. your injuries from the pole? Did you yeah, no, my, my shoulder was broken, my hip was broken. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's just the and then, life. when I was 12 years old, the bombing started again. So they sent all the children out of the town and they went to um, step aside. It's Kilgetty. Yeah, you know yeah. where Kilgetty yeah, is? Yeah. 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 And I was with a a minister of the church and his his daughter and I was a kid there but my two brothers were up on a farm way up a long way I never saw them and we were there for two years and when I came back I was 14 I was 12 when I went away and I was 12 at 14 when I came back and I came back to go to school high school but it'd been bombed so we couldn't go to school so I went to I went to work instead. I went to the Labour Exchange and they said, you've got to do a job of importance. And so they sent me out to an angle air base and I would camouflage in nets to go over the, the planes. And I did that for the summer. And then I, I, I had to go back to the Labour Exchange again. And they said, uh, you can't do camouflage in the winter. Of course, you couldn't spray in the winter. They said, but there's a job in Pembroke for the Air Force laundry. And I went there as a packer. You know, they washed the things and I'd pack them and put the names on the on thing. And I did that to, uh, for 12 months. And then I got rheumatic fever, so I, I had to give that up. And I went to, down the hospital. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm. That's such a lovely. Been around. That's it. That's even yeah. battered it before they even was there. Even battered it all the time. Doing the planes at the meeting like that. Yeah. We went there uh, on Saturday. Uh, Gordon Singleton. Yes. They spread his, his wife ashes. spread his ashes. Oh, it was and you got the whole story about how the ashes were spread. About, you know, yes, I was. I was spread. there watching the uh, yeah. with Pat, his uh, second wife. I forgot it. I had to go back for it. Then. Yes. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Then I then I spilled some in the garage or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She got into the car. She got into the car in anger, and uh, she said, "Oh, I got corn all over me." Went to the south town, which which she thought was funny, which was oh, you, yeah, you know yeah, you have to yeah, laugh. Yeah, you yeah, have to laugh. And the sea was good. And of course, yeah. we went in the cars then up to the field, and through the fields then to the basement where it was so rough. 
which you were explaining, they were, they were dodging cow pets. That's right, yes, they were. Yeah. Uh, it was a nice, it was nice. It was nice. Uh, and then, so that was you, you came to work for the hospital. Yeah. And then you were working in the... You ended up working in, in the, the canteen, canteen, didn't you? In the canteen. Yeah. When yeah. the Air Force men came yeah. in. Uh, and that's where you met Dad. You met Dad, yeah. Mm. Uh, and here we are. And here you are. Oh, yes. God. What was the story that you were going to say? 11 grandchildren and six great grandchildren. We lost one us. You lost one. I lost one. Yeah, my brother. And my son. Three months. Oh, little son. He died of cough death. Oh. That's all for winter time. It is. It gets you. Gorgeous baby. And the one about Norway, you said. You mentioned that. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about it. Yeah, that's where the plane got shot. The Mrs. Smith came out of the fields and shot the plane out of the plane. This was. This yeah. was discovered subsequently. Oh, okay. Thank you both. Well, thank all four of you really. Yeah, that was really good. It's like to be careful.